welcome. No, 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 it's not. I'm introducing us. Don't stop. Welcome. Introduce yourself. <laughs> Welcome Tell the to people the- your name. Amy. Tell them and who Sam's I am. Show. I'm Give Amy the people Paper. a proper introduction. Welcome. Are you done yet? <laughs> it's my turn Go to ahead. talk. Go ahead. Okay, thank you. Uh, this is the Silas and Amy show. I am Silas McBain. I'm Amy Kabar. Okay, good. Thank God we finally got that right. Um, so, uh, Dr. Amy wanted to introduce the show today, and I wanted to show her just how difficult it is to do that. It's not something just any average Canadian can do, even though they all think they can. So, now that we've solved that. I am still here. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. You are still here. Of course you are. In darling. Canada, I mean. I know. Yeah. I think that today we'll maybe do an elongated episode. How about that? About what? Okay. You just go back to sleep and I'll just kind of steer this ship <laughs> while you're doing whatever the hell it is you're doing over there. <laughs> kind of thought we were doing this together, but I got it. It's okay. Um, uh, today, I think that we want to discuss the topic of religion. Oh, interesting. Which may take more than the average 15 minutes to do. It's kind of probably going to go one of two ways. It's going to take us about five minutes to get this squared away, which at that point, somehow or another, we discover that America is superior. (laughs) Or it's going to take us, you know, maybe about 30 minutes or so to delve into all that which pertains to Well, my opinion is simple. Oh, you have an opinion. Yeah, because wonderful. Please. Essentially, I don't consider it factual. Okay, wait. So, are you coming from a perspective of, and I'm not being, I'm not being a dick. I'm being very, very honest and open about this. Okay, are you coming from a Canadian perspective? Are you coming from an Indian perspective? What kind of perspective are you coming from when it comes to religion? How about human? Well, Canadians, that doesn't qualify. So. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, that was a dick thing to say. I didn't mean that. You see, I didn't you mean see, that. But I, I, we're trying to be serious. We are trying to be serious. Please. Okay. Go. So go honestly, my grown-up opinion on all of this is that they're all the same. That they all teach you to be a good person and teach you good values and not to kill your neighbor and not to cheat on your friend's wife or your wife. <laughs> not to cheat on your friend's wife. If you're not sleeping with your friend's wife, by God, don't you cheat on her. <laughs> <laughs> Don't cheat. You're gonna go to hell for wife. that one. <laughs> oh, nice um, start. You know, I mean, I grew up a Hindu, but as a Hindu, okay. So uh, seriously, and this is gonna sound really ignorant, but is that like cows are sacred and and stuff like that? What Hinduism? Yeah, is that the religion where cows are sacred? No, it's not about religion. Cows are sacred in India because they give so much to the land, and they give milk. So you guys don't have cheeseburgers in India? No. Cheese comes from cow milk? I'm saying the actual meat of the cow. They are they love the dairy because that's what part of the Okay, well let's just say let's just say that um, a cow has a Uh, heart attack and falls out and it's game over. For no no for said cow, it's game over. Cow dies. Okay? Mm -hmm. Well, We found this cow within a few minutes of it being dead, so the meat is still good. (laughs) It would be a shame to see it go to waste. Well, let's have a friggin' rump roast, man. I don't know. I don't live in India. What would the Indian people do in that situation? They probably wouldn't eat it. Would they bury it? No, they don't bury... We don't bury people anyway, or things. We, uh... Just leave them um, there? No. (laughs) Where you find them? Cremate. Cremate, cremate. You cremate cows? I don't know. We cremate humans. Uh, okay, but what about the cows? I mean, what about I don't know. what about the beef? What about the beef? I doubt it. I doubt it. So they cremate the beef? Yeah. I do that. I just do it on a grill. <laughs> What's the difference? <laughs> they don't eat it. They will not eat it. I doubt it. Okay. All right. So so. We deviated a bit. So, in your opinion, all religions are equal parts true or false. Yep. 
Well, there's false and true parts to all religion. I just think it's what people take from it. Well, if you're going to call all religions equal parts true, it's philosophically (laughs) irresponsible to say that they're not also equal parts false. Yeah, no, I agree. Okay, so you're... You are completely on the fence, total gray area, no religious perspective whatsoever. No, no, no. I would consider myself a Hindu if you were going to ask me. Okay, what so what happens when you die? Do you turn into a cow? Well, now this is where my scientificness goes comes in. Scientificness is that a word? Mm. More importantly, is I that a know. word that a doctor? Should I will use? be cremated, and I believe that there's probably a soul, but I believe in reincarnation. So you're going to be a cow? Maybe. Hopefully not. Hopefully I'll be moving up the chain since I've been doing a good job in this life. Wait, what's up the chain from human? We got something above us? No, 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 no. Shit, no, no, I missed no. the boat on that. Okay. Nobody so, told me about this. I was sick that day in science class. Damn. What's next? Small lesson on reincarnation. Oh, please. Educate me. Okay, so just because you're born a human doesn't mean you're at the top of the reincarnation chain. Oh, it's not the same as the food chain. No, because Shit. there's different types of humans. Once you get there's to different enlightenment, types of humans. <laughs> okay. Spiritually, spiritually. Oh, sp- oh, spiritually. Yeah. So okay, you I have know, to say it that way because be... we're speaking intelligently right now. So, so I'm saying that once you become a person of, well, basically the Hindus believe that if you can become a person that doesn't require material things. That can become basically like a swami who basically just needs meditation and that's it. And you're basically at the nirvana stage of your... Medication? Meditation. Oh, my bad. All right. Meditation. So... Meditation. Then you're at the very top. And then after that, you basically don't come back again because you've reached nirvana and that's it. Nirvana, Pearl Jam, Alice in Chains, Soundgarden, Mother Love Bone. Temple of the Dog. Okay. I get it. Anyway. So, so the ultimate goal is to become a 90s grunge band. <laughs> well. I would dig that. I mean, that's okay. I mean, I'm just saying. Except for the guys that shot themselves in the face with shotguns. I mean, those were pretty cool guys. And I, I agree that Nirvana is probably the ultimate thing, right? I mean, if mm. you can become so simple that you don't really require anything. Mm, that does smell like teen spirit. You're right. <laughs> Then, hmm. you know, that's it. You don't have I to be reincarnated again. I feel like a naked again. baby in a swimming pool right You have no purpose right of being now. reincarnated. Hmm. The naked baby swimming towards the dollar bill. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Okay, okay. So I'm wrapping my mind around Hinduism and grunge bands and... Well, the thing about Hinduism is that... Beef. You can be Hindu and then believe in everything else. You say Hindu differently than I do. Because but I don't say it with a hard D. I say it with a the. Hindu. Yeah, Hindu. Hindu. Correct. That's not, hin, it's spelled H-I-N-D-U, though. It's not spelled H-I-N-T-H-U. So? It's not even spelled you, in you, English. You, you went to college? You seriously did. Dude. <laughs> Hindu is not an English hey, word. It's not dude. It's thuth. <laughs> dude is milk. <laughs> I don't understand what the hell we're talking about. <laughs> All right, so it's it's pronounced it's it's written D, but it's pronounced T H, but not the same way I would normally say T H. It's like this weird hybrid, like T H had sex with D, and they invented this sound. That letter doesn't exist in in English. Don't you insult my language? Oh gosh. We can speak Hindu with the best of them, okay? Hindi, Hindi. We can speak Hindi with the best of them. They have pretty good. You have pretty good enunciation there. Pronunciation. Well, you know, I did take two years of Spanish. Oh please. Okay. So anyway. It was bueno. (laughs) Oh man. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, princess. Am I boring you? Well, you haven't told me anything about your religious views. Well, I've been listening to you talking about whatever the hell it was you were talking about for the last ten minutes. Spirituality. Spirituality. And how that's really the best thing. Mm, Boy, oh boy. I'm trying to encapsulate all my roving thoughts on the topic of religion. Gosh. Uh, Don't act like that. Okay, go ahead. Why don't you just start by telling me what you believe? Oh, I'm a Christian. 
Okay. I've been a Christian since 1994. Um, what which were you before that? In American years, that's 20 years. What? What? No, I'm confused. Okay. What were you before that? Uh, I, I guess you could say spiritually unaffiliated. <laughs> really? Well, with without, uh, yeah, without association, I guess you could say I hadn't, <laughs> I hadn't chosen a party yet. <laughs> huh. I find it interesting that you can just choose. Um, huh. I, I guess, I guess spiritually speaking, I was, uh, Unitarian? I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe uh, bipartisan? Tea party? I don't know what you would call it spiritually. But <laughs> tea party. I was, I was, uh, I was unaffiliated. <laughs> oh, shit. I made myself laugh with that one. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> I was a spiritual tea partier. Um, no, but so. Agnostic, I guess, yes, would be the technical term, I suppose. Yes, thank you. No, 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 no. I would consider... Agnostic being the condition of a state of unsure of what exists beyond... Okay, because I would consider myself an agnostic, probably. Uh, I kind of think you would probably qualify as such. Yeah, I think so. Because I think, I guess if we're going to define it, and this is out of my own head based on what I know of it, I think being agnostic pertains to the belief that you're just not sure... You don't believe one thing or another. You acknowledge the potential that something exists beyond this realm, but you will not adhere to a certain tenet of beliefs. Yes, that's a good definition. I like that. I'm going to look it up. All right. So I would say that that is what agnostic is. And I would say that up to that point in my young life, that is, I suppose, what I was. I guess I was raised uh, to be Christian. Right. Uh, went to church growing up as a child and, and those kinds of things. Went to a weird church, not a cultish church. Um, you know, I wasn't Canadian or anything, but just went to, uh, <laughs> there are not really any cults in Canada. Oh, I thought Can Canada was. So here you're very close actually. Agnost agnosticism, agnosticism, agnosticism <laughs> Yes, okay. is the view that the truth values of certain claims, especially claims about the existence or non-existence of any deity, as well as other religious and metaphysical claims, are unknown. Agnosticism can be defined in various ways. It is sometimes used to indicate doubt or a skeptical approach to questions. In some senses, agnosticism is a stance about the difference between belief and knowledge, rather than about any specific claim or belief. Basically, someone who neither believes nor disbelieves in the existence of a deity or deities, whereas a theist or an atheist believe and disbelieve respectively. Perfect. Yes. Okay. That makes very good sense. Okay. Okay. So under that definition, would you consider yourself agnostic? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, let's... uh because we haven't quite gotten into what we wanted to get into yet. So let's do a two-part on this and wrap this up next time. Okay. Silas and Amy out. Good night, kids. <laughs>